What's up, everybody? Jason for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just filled up 2019 Panini Donner's Optic Football. It's a six-box half-case break. Pick your team's number nine. So number nine and ten, fresh case. There you go. Jacqueline gets the buck, last one, Mojo. One second, guys. Down their box. Thank you, Blackout. I tend to sneeze like ten times, five to seven times <laughs> before I stop. All right, guys. So, like always, left or right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, you know, I don't really ever get so mucus. Like, I, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I've, we've all sneeze before and just like yeah but when i do those sneezes match honestly it's just i don't know it's maybe just the cardboard dust that gets into me but they don't really ever get too mucusy <laughs> all right so one two three four five six two so one two three all right this side will be for number 10 which i'm sure we can work on later today too There's some new ones that popped up yesterday everywhere. Yeah, like in a lot of places. I don't I have to go to Pomona, I have to go the other way. <laughs> I don't know why they scheduled me there. But yeah, I gotta find out tomorrow. I find out tonight at seven if I have to go tomorrow. Uh -huh. That's weird. Yeah. Hopefully they don't call me until like Friday. I had to do this Florence one the other day uh, like a couple weeks ago and yeah they gave me the date far in advance and then uh -huh. they just kept the set for twenty minutes and then Really? Yeah. Oh, lucky. And then they said um, we're giving you a slip, uh, permission slip for the whole day, so your work won't know if, you know, it's you know like I mean? half the day or not. So, yeah. And then all the ladies were like, oh, going to the That's devil so cool. mall. Yeah, well, I mean, Pomona's not too far from me. It's like maybe 10 miles, but uh -huh. I try to, because in, in Almani, where I live, there's a court there. I'm like, why wouldn't you just schedule me in my own city? Oh, yeah. is that a super fractor? Or no, that's a gold vinyl. Gold vinyl, sorry. Um, yeah, it is. I don't know if it's that. Ooh, good time Ooh. to get that one right there. Look at that. Jimmy. Wow, no, that's a one of one, actually. Wow. Yeah, Lovano, yeah. One ones, I guess, I guess wow. they are one of ones. I was going to say, usually the block, it's black, but. Nice. And uh, the 49ers were 
One of the last teams taken, guys. Look at that. Perfect time to get that. Gold vinyl. I mean, actually, perfect timing. Yeah. Nice. There you go. That was uh, Jacqueline getting that. There you go. I'm sure that pays for the spot. Ooh, nice. I'll take a white side. Hollow. Dexter Lawrence to 299. And we got a redemption. DeAndre Baker to 99. And uh, for the Colts, that one I know that was sad, huh? Oh yeah, that was weird, yeah. It's like, uh, it's like you didn't even get to live, yeah. like a full 24 hours. Yeah. Matt Ryan to 150. Oh yeah, the tennis player played like that. I don't know if he won though. Dexter Lauren Paulo. Yeah, he did. He always talked to that one tennis girl. Uh, Noami, Noami? Osaka? The, yeah. Alright, Raider Rookie Autograph Hollow. Card number 185. Benny Snell Jr. for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Going to Wesley. Saints. Darrell Henderson. I know, I remember that. Tony Pollard, Raider rookie, to 199. The Lakers and Clippers games have been canceled? Did they really announce that right now? 299. What? Saying the Lakers have been canceled. Oh, really? Damn, if they did, everybody's gonna get their money back. Wow. It's like people are trying to buy tickets to the next game then. Yeah. <laughs> like the one that they're not gonna cancel. Burns. What's the one Williams. I was reading it mostly AFL. Oh, yeah, yeah, mostly. I was like, wait, mostly. Well, guys. To 150, LaShawn McCoy. And Terry Bradshaw, Mythic. Look at that, start your little PC. You already got the hardest one. It's 299, Garoppolo. Your rainbow. And Darnell Savage Jr. to 99. Did your autograph there for the Packers. Green Bay Packers. Uh, it's going to Jaden. to be like on Thursday then, right? It's usually like every two, three days. Quadri Olsen, and this Quadri Olsen looks like it was already just kind of damaged out of the pack. A little crease line. There you go. Falcons. Looks good on the front. The back's a little... So there you go. Jason with that one. I'm sure you can probably do something with Panini with that. January 31st. 
And are they go white side oh they put their Friday? They go white side hollow. Philadelphia Eagles going to Paul Hutchins. Peterson, 199. Yeah, we figured a lot of them start popping out. OJ Howard. Tyler Rapp, 150. Jalen Hurd. OJ Howard to 299. Bag no go. Yeah, some of them already was like about to start. Yeah, yeah. can't just be like canceled. Yeah. But yeah. Two ninety nine. I think a white side. And a Bradshaw mythical man. Just check StubHub. Get some tickets. <laughs> Trayvon Mullen Jr. That's like the difference though, right? I feel like not that Michael hasn't been out there because you know he's still an owner and involved so much, but I feel like he's the one that's been talking to players like all the time. Mm -hmm. Teaching them this, teaching them that. Who, Kobe? Yeah, not like no, I mean I'm not saying maybe Jordan didn't do that, but yeah. I don't I don't ever really ever see that or hear that. Yeah. Like, oh Michael taught me this. Like you just got taught from Michael by watching his highlights. Carry on Johnson to 299. And we got a downtown Andrew Luck. I'm sure, he'll be back soon. It's weird if they play the next three games. No, no. They do play away. Downtown's not going to have focus. There you go. Look, it's funny that it, it you know, catches this focus. Yeah. But then the Sunday, like, mixes it up. Like, it yeah. starts getting, like, really blurry. It's like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> All right, so they go Indianapolis Colts. Serenity with that one. Cameron Newton. And LJ Collier to 75. Seattle Seahawks. Calvin Harmon to 299. Then we got Minka Fitzpatrick to 25. Steelers with that one. Nikhil Harry to 199.
I said it. You know, Rob Palenka, the general manager of the Lakers, he was the godfather of Gianna Bryant. I mean, he was as close to Kobe as a brother. I mean, they often referred to each other that way. All right. Yeah, it was all around the, all around the hobby, especially for hockey hobby. But um, yes, the owner is uh, sending off to auction house. I believe it's scheduled to be around April, so a little ways from now. But I guess they're trying to get it around April, which I think is a pretty solid time. So Connor McDavid's having a monster season again. What does he have like seventy five points already? Travis Homer. And then the Oilers are in a playoff position, or at least in contention, so I think April will be a perfect time to do it. Playing Thorson. But yeah, when we find out any more news, you know, we'll let all you guys know as well. Full count? Walt Miller, twenty nine. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to. I would say Peyton, right? Pay Manning, you know. Yeah, I'd probably have to be him because you know. So they said this earlier today. You know, Kobe, in all sports, right, he, he, they were talking about that there's only been two NBA MVPs, right? Two N NBA MVPs in the league that have passed away. Only two, right? What they said was Moses Malone and uh, Will Chamberlain. But both of them passed away around their 60s. So... You know, obviously it can still be tragic by then, but more natural than anything, you know, it's in the 60s. Kobe is the, definitely the first big superstar sports guy that, you know, passed away, like, what, less than five years after his retirement. You know, was doing so well off of basketball, and it's just even more tragic with his daughter that, you know, was going to be, you know, the big basketball player of his, uh, you know, out of, his, of his family. So, yeah, I mean, if, like, tragically Payne Manning or something passed away, you'd have to think kind of that's the same. Just because they both kind of retired, you know, not too long ago from the profession and then passed away, like, you know, tragically, right? I mean, it'd be the same thing for, like, Tom Brady and all those guys, you know? But, see, the difference with, like, Jordan is that he's much older. So, you know... Not saying if he didn't pass away, it wouldn't hurt anybody. Of course not. Everybody looked at the Jordan. Everybody wanted to be Jordan. So, but you know, it'd be a little different, right? So yeah, and then I like I was just talking to Nick right now. Kobe, to me, it just seemed like he was the guy that was like talkative to all the players around the league, helping the players around the league. You know, giving them that mentality that has he called Mamba mentality. You know what I mean? Like. Not saying that Michael Jordan maybe have, hasn't done that, but do we rarely ever hear of, Ma of Michael Jordan really doing that? You know, doing all that, right? It's like, you just think of Kobe's, you know, doing that. You know, all of us here that grew up in the 90s, 2000s, you know, we, we, we know Kobe more than Jordan. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's kind of the sad part is that like the daughter that was gonna be the basketball player and she was really good too man for her age you know you could totally tell obviously worked just as hard as Kobe if not harder and had the, the skills and the talent and that's just the most sad part too you know what I mean any of his daughters passing away is just horrible and then of course the other families too you know what I mean like the other families some of them lost both parents some of them lost a wife or a husband it's it's just it's something that you don't ever plan for, you know, obviously. Playing Thorson. But yeah, it'd be something like that. Like, I, I would agree with you, AJ. Yeah. Especially in this day and era with social media. Those, those players, like Jeter, Manning, Kobe, like Tom Brady and those guys, you know. 
that's the magnitude for sure. I would agree. All right, guys, there you go. We have a ton of different numbered cards. Oh, of course, Frankie. That's what I mean. But I'm just saying that the, the the human being that Kobe is, I feel like he was just more helpful to a lot of basketball players out there. You know, they looked up to him, just as other ones did for Michael. So I'm not saying anything on Michael, but all right, guys, we got a little uh, gold vinyl 101 Jimmy Garoppolo, Darnell Savage's auto, Vega Whiteside, L.J. Collier, Travis Homer, Marquise Brown. Two, three, four, five. There should be one more in here. Maybe not. Did I put it over here? Right, this whole field flight is about four to forty-five minutes. Think about it. The Kobe Bryant is in the helicopter with his daughter. They lift off the Orange County about sixty-five miles. Oh yeah, the redemption, duh. That's where it's at. Thank you. That was the first one. There you go. And then Benny Snell Jr. And we did get it downtown too as well. Have to look. But yeah, a lot of different stuff, guys. A lot of number cards, of course. No, it's kind of tough to hit autograph with only six coming out. One per box, but a lot of nice numbered card hollows coming out for a lot of different teams. Uh, again, the second half is in the store, number 10. Let's get that one going, guys. I feel like that one can be pretty good. Jazbeescasebreaks.com.